So in this video, we're going to take a look at creating a smart display. And uh, this is going to be for a on-air light for our studio switcher unit. So we're going to uh, title this one on air. And what we're going to do is we're going to get it to switch when the studio is put to air. And the studio switcher produces a ground connection. So we're going to uh, title it on air. Just to change the into a lovely red, leave it as a rectangle. And so the change is going to happen when the pin is high. And the pin will be high when the two connections are ground off. So they are linked to each other, what is called a closed contact. So we're going to add a pin and we're going to add pin number three. We're going to connect this to on our Raspberry Pi. And when pin three is connected, it is going to show this text on air. You can change the text font and the size. We'll keep the background the same just so you can see it correctly. And let's have a look at that pin configuration on the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to go in here, this third row, GPIO03, which is the third row. We're going to connect our wires to that between pin 3 and ground. going to do a user interaction that we're going to use when we do the touch screen uh, but we're not because we're not going to actually interact with the screen because the screen's up on our studio wall so no need for user interactive to be ticked and we can decide if we want a footer let's go back and configure in the application settings that gpio so we'll go to app settings because we now need to configure the input pin number three. We need that to be an input. And you have various inputs. You have an input pull up, which it's selected to be at the moment, which requires you to be sending five volts across those two pins. But we're actually going to be grounding the pin. So we're just going to be basically just connecting the two pins together, GPIO3 and ground. And for that, we need to select an input pull down. For that so we're to go to the cog for input pin 3 it is an input and we need to select down input pull down because we are just grounding that input once we're happy there we can click on back finished on that page make it a little bit bigger on the screen and click on go and then what we'll do here is i'll ground those pins together using a little bit of wire and we're looking for the on air to go blue and so blue means that the studio is on air red means it's off air you can configure those colors any way you want so there we go there's our little flashing on air light here on the smart sign light and the smart display tile 